If you haven't heard, Microsoft is working on something called Project Scorpio. Um, it's a really, really mysterious name for something that's not all that mysterious. Um, it's going to be an upgraded Xbox along the same lines as the PlayStation 4 Neo. Um, we've talked about that. We haven't talked a whole lot about the Scorpio and you know, they're pretty much the same thing. They're going to be upgraded versions of our current PlayStation 4 and Xbox One consoles. Uh, more capable, uh, probably more 4K friendly. Uh, the current Xbox One S, which was recently released, uh, that you can, you can use that to do 4K streaming, 4K Blu-ray. So when Scorpio comes along, it'll probably do 4K gaming. Uh, everyone's pretty much assuming with that. Um, now, Albert Pinello, who is the Xbox director, um, was inter interviewed about the, uh, the Scorpio and uh, how they want to change some of the, uh, the cycles that we go through in the video game industry, specifically with consoles. Uh, with PCs, you really don't see this. Uh, PCs, you know, you just simply upgrade them incrementally at a time. You can't play a game. You may have to go out and get more uh, RAM. You may have to go out and get a new graphics card. Usually incremental upgrades with PCs, and eventually you do have to get a new one. But with you know consoles, it's standardized equipment. Everyone has the same specs in the box, and you can optimize, optimize your games for that system um, and really push it. Um, can't really do that with with PC because it's such a scattered, you know, scattered market um, as far as our hardware goes. So with Scorpio, they they hope to uh, to change the the cycle. So um, what is what does Pinel say about the jump between uh, console generations? Well, he described the transition like going from the Xbox 360 to the Xbox One as being disruptive for both developers and gamers. Um, which is kind of ridiculous because since the seventh generation of consoles, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, um, we've been told that, well, these machines are basically PCs, especially the Xbox 360. Um, that is, that, that basically was, you know, a, had PC, uh, graphics cards in it, it had a PC graphics card in it. Um, and everything else about it was a PC. Xbox One, PlayStation 4, same thing. They even run on x86 architecture, uh, and that is a, you know, that's that's just a, a term for uh, what how PCs actually run. Uh, all the back end, all the coding is based around that. So this is where before I go on, let me let me get further into what he says. Um, here's some quotes from uh, Albert Pinello, the Xbox director. You hear us talking about thinking beyond console generations. It's not the idea that you don't want to do consoles anymore or that there's not going to be more performance in the future with new systems. But if you go back and look at console generations, they're always super exciting when something new comes out, but they're super disruptive. They're really hard on developers because they have to learn how to program on these new machines. They're really hard on customers, which I think sometimes people forget. You have to give up a lot of stuff. The idea for Scorpio in the future is we can smooth that out. Can this be more about a family? Can we think beyond? We're going to do this one and then stop and then start all over again. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me get into more of this of this nonsense that he's spouting. It's really easy for people to think there's just one customer for consoles and there's reasons for buy for buying is identical across the millions of people, the millions of people. But there isn't. It's just not true. Um, and further talking about with Scorpio and he says he describes it as you you just can't go wrong with it. Well, let me tell you why you can go wrong and why this is a horrible approach, whether it is the Xbox Scorpio or the PlayStation 4 Neo. What you are doing, you're not okay. So, so l l let's get into this not in, into this non 
nonsense that he's talking about as far as um, getting the uh, getting this all wrong as far as the console generations being hard on consumers. Number one, the Xbox, the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, I feel like those were actually very good transitions. Like uh, the systems, people were waiting for new consoles for a while. And when we finally got it, people went out and they bought both consoles. Both consoles sold very well. PlayStation 4 sold a bunch more. Um, it's still selling more. And people just need to, you know, people went out and bought these consoles like it like it was no problem. Didn't seem to be a, an issue for the consumer. So I don't know what Pinello is talking about when it comes to this. Um, and then he also says it's also hard on the developers because the developers have to now learn this new system. Well, like I said before, the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One are both developed around x86 architecture. They're both based around a very established format for developing for the PC. So if you know how to develop a game for a PC, you can develop a game for these systems. They're not these magic... The, we're not talking about the Sega Saturn anymore. We're not talking about the PlayStation 3 or the PlayStation 2, where those systems were notoriously difficult to learn to code for and they have their own proprietary way of doing things. We're not like that anymore with our consoles. Our consoles are PCs in disguise. They're not hard to develop for. Um, and they're, th th this is why we had, this is why we had, in my opinion, we had a bit of a drought of games when we went to the PlayStation 3 and 360 and the uh, HD era of games. Um, you kind of saw either bad games or not very many games for the first year, year and a half. With the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, we're seeing good games like immediately out the gate. So I don't think anyone's com I don't think anyone was complaining about this. Um, you know, I Naughty Dog was com did did say that the PlayStation 2 when that first came out and they wanted to start getting their Jack and Daxter games running, that was you know, a growing pain experience for them to learn to code for the PlayStation 2 coming from PS1. Then they went to PS3, and, and it was even more difficult because it was, it was even more proprietary. That's not the case anymore. All right, so his, his reasoning to have this incremental step in the Scorpio is, is kind of falling apart at the very beginning here. Um, and, and the whole part about it being hard on, on customers... That I don't follow either. To me, the opposite would be true. It's hard on customers for you to release a 400 to 500 new box or system that people feel like, well, I better go out and buy this, otherwise I'm not getting the best experience. And that's definitely how they're going to be marketing this. I mean, let's let's not don't don't fall for any of this. Okay, this is this is all he's he's 100 percent in marketing and salesman mode right now so uh you know in this in this interview i i would not i would not believe this spin coming from him and and, and i'm not i'm not just hating on on scorpio and, and an xbox here okay well hear, hear me out like this this goes for uh the playstation 4 neo these systems are not something that we need they just aren't we're we're just now we're we're almost to the point where these systems are three years old. Yes, I know that technology is expanding at an exponential rate. You you get a new you can get a new phone every year and get quite an upgrade. But consoles and gaming and and graphical engines aren't really developing at a rate where you need to have new hardware every three years. They're just not to that point, point. Um, and I don't see them getting to that point. Um, let's stick with five, six, and seven year cycles. Let's, let's not do this, this strange three year cycle that, that they're, that they're trying to push. Um, the, the Neo and the Scorpio, this is, this is simply a way for Sony and Microsoft to sell more units. They're basically taking the same core systems 
they're giving them a, l a little bit of an upgrade um they're gonna sell it at a higher price or you know the same launch price as the, the original the initial system is launched for um and they're gonna get a bunch of people to buy them unfortunately this this always seems to happen because people people want the best and the uh and this is just another example of consoles just going down the route of becoming more and more like PCs and as console gamers me specifically as a as pretty much an exclusive console gamer I don't want to see the the industry go this route but looks like they'll be dragging me kicking and screaming <laughs>